Hi, I'm Johnny B and welcome to McKinney ISD Sports Talk. Welcome back from spring break and we're going to take a look at our three high school swimming programs. So we're going to dive right in. Great clever pun right there with McKinney Boyd and coach uh, Matthew Fosheim. And coach, um, the first question I really want to ask is, and for a lot of people don't know, um, how do you get your swimmers? Uh, are there middle school programs? Do you find them? Do they find you or do you kind of meet in the middle? Yeah, great question. So most of our swimmers come from uh, either one of the seasoned club programs in the town, either the uh, Texas Ford Aquatics, which is kind of Frisco McKinney based, or Metro Plex Aquatics, which is based in Allen. So that's the two main programs we get most of our top swimmers from. But then we've got some seasonal programs such as Stonebridge Splash and uh, McKinney Sea Lions that give us some swimmers who have the basics down. But then it's really taking those kids, finding a passion and just driving and pushing them to do great things. So when you find that team and you've got the nucleus of that team, then do you kind of see who's best at, at, at individuals or, or do you figure it out that way? Yeah, we do, we do uh, specialize a little bit, but at McKinney Boyd, we train all four strokes, all distances, and really try to, it's a very hard sound training program. It's somewhat of a traditional base program. We're not focused that much on sprints, but uh, the work that they put in is significant. You see a lot of time drops throughout the season. You see a lot of hard work that these kids are putting into it really leads to success. When you started this season, what were some of the specific goals you had in mind and uh, how did the team achieve them? Well, for the, our season, a lot of the, what we're dealing with is a new conference or district uh, that was much uh, more competitive than what we had been in previously, throwing in the Allens and Planos that we had previously, then putting in South Lake, um, you know, perennial state power. So now we've got two or three state powers um, all in one district. Really, the goal was just be there be competitive. You got one chance, one moment, how to step up and be competitive as a team, not just an individual race, but also in our relay races and everything else. How did the team do uh, in team competition this year? Um, we snuck a couple victories. Uh, we beat Jesuit on the boys' side. Girls' side, we were able to beat uh, Plano East. Boys beat Plano East as well. So we were able to sneak some individual dual meets uh, there for victories. In districts, though, boys placed fifth, girls placed seventh um, we were okay with that I thought that's kind of where we were supposed to be uh, but we did have some lights out swims in between that uh, out of that fifth and seventh place finishes so if you're gonna swim for the Boyd program kids coming in pretty much know that the bar is raised because you got some pretty stiff competition around you oh yeah oh yeah they know the bars raised they're ready to compete though that's part of the mentality that we're trying to instill in these kids from the first moment they step into that pool deck and first day of school. How about some uh, individual standouts from this season? Uh, individual standouts this year, we had three school records broken. Um, the 200 freestyle, uh, 200 medley, excuse me, 200 medley relay was broken with Malcolm Pretorius, Zach Barber, Jake Robson, and Christian Parker. Two of those guys were from that relay previous year, um, but they came back. We added two new bodies, um, and they did a great job. Um, Christian Parker was also successfully able to um, break the 50 freestyle record in 21.57. A uh, huge, huge time drop for him this season. Really stepped up his off-season weightlifting program, became self-motivated, really improved. And then Zachary Barber um, finally broke the 100 breaststroke record. He kind of was chasing Chase Gerard's shadow, who was a year ahead of him the last four, three years, and he'd just been knowing, I gotta get this time, get this time, get this time, and finally it all just clicked. It just clicked in the last, last race of the season, he broke it. Fantastic. When you look forward to the nucleus that you have coming back and maybe some people you need to recruit in some areas, what's the forecast for Boyd Swimming? Where would you like to be next year? Yeah, we're, we're recruiting kids um, left and right, um, trying to talk to kids who are at middle school, some who swam, then got to middle school and started doing other sports programs. Oh, we're trying to get, get them interested back into swimming uh, to grow the program. Uh, we've got a good core group of boys, uh, freshmen, sophomore boys, that have some club experience they're starting to really grow as a unit um, and really bond together and start looking at pushing um, themselves to their max. Uh, and the girls side is, uh, it's, it's growing. We only had about nine girls on varsity this year. Uh, we're looking to grow it a little bit more. We've been talking to some kids who, you know, played some other sports, but they, we want them to come out and try swimming and grow this sport as well. Fantastic. Sounds like a, a great future for Boyd. We appreciate your time. Yep. Thank you. Taking a look at McKinney Boyd swimming here on McKinney ISD Sports Talk. When we come back, two high schools to go. We'll take a look at the Lions and the Bulldogs. 